there's not a lot of conversation about the disadvantages of being attractive. One, as a woman, you will have a hard time making friends. I've met people who gravitate towards me because I'm attractive because they think in proximity they will get some of my privileges. I've had friends that cut me off out of the blue for literally no reason. I have friends that have told me to humble myself. It's gonna be hard to date. I've met men who just wanna be with me to be a trophy. I've had boyfriends who have not been able to deal with the amount of attention I get and therefore take it out on me. I've been stalked, I've been followed home, I've been stalked by ex-boyfriends, I've been groped, I've been graped, I've been assaulted, I've been through a lot because I'm attracted. It's not for the weak. And when people talk about pretty privilege, yes, I will get a free meal. I will get free entry. I will get preferential treatment. A lot of times I don't have to pay for stuff. That's great. But I wouldn't say it's comparable to the amount of detriments being attractive has put me in. Lord knows I'm very grateful that my mother picked an attractive sperm donor that gave me this face, but it has definitely made life a bit more challenging. When you are an attractive person, especially an attractive woman, you will need to walk around and protect yourself physically, mentally, everly from everyone because they will be attracted to you. They will be coming for different reasons and you're gonna have to be able to keep them away. As a woman who's attractive, you need to learn how to defend yourself. I am in the gym five times a week getting strong as fuck in case somebody walks up on me, they don't get You need to learn how to read people. You need to pay attention to your surroundings. You need to not get gas late at night. You need to be on your P's and Q's and you need to be extremely intelligent. I once had someone pretend to be a business, sent me an email saying that they would fly me and my brand, I have a swimsuit line, to another country to do a photo shoot. Everything seemed extremely legitimate. They even sent photos of other women that will be attending the event. They fucked up because one of the women in the photos is someone I know. I messaged them, they had no idea what I was talking about. This pervert was trying to lure me out to another country to do God knows what with me. This is what you get for being attractive. Well, that sounds like a pretty rough life for a woman. <laughs> and I say for a woman because I don't think all of this stuff is just exclusive to just being an attractive woman. A lot of these things that you mentioned is what women have to deal with and what they encounter. But definitely being an attractive woman, you have more perks than a woman who's not as attractive, for lack of a better term. But a lot of these things women in general deal with. So that whole pretty proximity thing, that's why sometimes you will see attractive women with a bunch of women who are not so attractive around them. And some of them just prefer to keep it that way. A lot of these things that I've always said with attractive women is that they're some of the loneliest women. They're some of the loneliest women and they will deal with certain people who society will deem unattractive just to feel normal, right? They're some of the loneliest people for real. That's why I always tell a man, shoot your shot at women. Doesn't matter if you think she's out of your league, you never know what's going on behind closed doors. And a lot of you think because she's attractive that she's just some unicorn, mythical, she can't be talked to or touched. And they're some of the most insecure women ever. Trust me, I know. They're very insecure from what I've ran into. For those of you who don't know, her name is Jess Lee Wong. She's an uh, influencer. She's a model. She's definitely an attractive woman. I'm not going to take that away from her at all. But some of these things, baby, a lot of the things you name are things that the average woman deals with. You just get a little bit more attention, especially that you're on social media. Guys are definitely going to try you. Guys are going to do different things. That's just how it is. But we got some more videos here we're going to get into. Let's go. I feel like you got to be ugly. You got to be a little ugly to be cute. You gotta be a little ugly to be truly beautiful. Like, I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like the BBL, you know, perfect body, perfect face, big lips, small, little button nose trend is getting played the f out. Like, I'm tired. It's, it's getting basic. And this is no offense to girls who do have enhancements and stuff done to your body because you look good. You know, nobody's saying that. You don't look bad. I'm not going to shame anybody for that. Do what you want to do. You know what I mean? 
But when I see girls constantly comparing themselves to these women they see on the internet and guys constantly thinking that every woman is supposed to look like this, I just get confused. Because I'm like, have we forgotten what beauty really is? Beauty doesn't stem from perfection. Beauty stems from imperfection. It stems from things that make you stand out in a crowd, you know, your differences, your flaws. That is what makes you beautiful. So why would you want to look like every other bitch? I don't get it. Real beauty comes from owning, expressing, and embodying your imperfections and your authenticity. You're hella tall. Okay, throw on some heels. I agree with her 100%. A lot of women are looking the same from the lashes to the wigs to the BBLs, all this stuff. And that's exactly, she hit it on the head. Beauty is, to me, and how I describe beauty, and how people look at beauty is just a series of imperfections. Now, when women look at things, they go off of a lot of times what other women think is beautiful. That's why they get all of these accessories on their face because they feel like, okay, such and such, this crowd, that's why women have a hive mindset. This crowd says that they're beautiful, so they must be beautiful. So let me try to look like that. Forget what the man says. I'm gonna go with what the women say is beautiful. When it's just you being you and honoring yourself and appreciating yourself makes you different and stand out from all the rest of the foolishness. But women don't tend to get that. Every woman you see now pretty much looks the same for the most part. You're getting the same thing. It's a carbon copy, which is weird in itself. So let's get on to this next video, though. Let's go. So I believe the reason why most women believe they are not average because we have now uh, created the ability to where average women can turn into top-notch women. Let me explain. Between makeup, um, wigs, hair extensions, um, filters, body enhancements, any unattractive woman can turn herself into an attractive woman, where, whether permanent or temporarily. We have the ability to change our look. And because we have the ability to change our look, we think that we are more attractive than we actually are when really your attraction is mainly based on how you look naturally right because eventually that person's gonna have to see what you look like uh, without all of those things on and regardless of what you put on um externally it's going to come through your kids dna and that is something unfortunate that I, I always try to preach to the sisters out there is just be natural, baby. And all you get is complaints and why I can't do that and whatever, man. If we were to go back to the Stone Age and before all this foolishness, we would really see what's what. And there would be a ton of humility going on out here. The fact that you don't even know what you really look like is very crazy in itself. And if you think about that to yourself, you are afraid to look at yourself in the mirror. The only time you really see your natural hair is when you go to get it done again. And your stylist sees it. But your kids, you're going to try to do the same thing to your kids. Especially your daughters. You're going to try to run this BS on them. Because you think that what you see on television... It's how you're supposed to look. A lot of black women who wear this extra stuff, all you're trying to do is look like a black doll, right? You know the dolls when you're growing up with the curly hair and the light eyes and the long eyelashes? That's your look, and it's comical. It's a caricature. That's what you're walking around with. And that's not what makes you attractive. You know you feel bad. You make fun of women with natural hair. And this sister was natural, but you make fun of... In high school, I remember seeing that, women making fun of other women with natural hair. Because you itself hate. And I'm just going to leave it at that, guys. Anyway... Let me know what you guys think about this video. Comment below. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit me up on Linktree to book a one-on-one -on -one with yours truly. Purchase all my books, merch, t-shirts. It helps to support the channel. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. With that being said, much blessings and abundance. Stick around for the next video that's going to pop up on the screen below. That's where I'm going to see you guys at. It's your favorite everything. Listen, this is wisdom. I'm out of here. Peace.